Hello there, everybody. Welcome on into today's video. Greatly appreciate you taking time out of your day. So we got over, check her on out. Uh, oh, we do have the Feel My Rhythm album for Red Velvet here on the Deep Dive. Uh, that means after today's album, we have two left. Two. Two left in the Deep Dive. Uh, still several more videos, so don't worry just yet. We are approaching the end, but it's still a, like a week two weeks away. So um, just based off of still how many more videos I have planned out. Um, but yeah, we're going to be doing the album today. Tomorrow will be the special clips, of course. Uh, we will be doing Feel My Rhythm, Rainbow Halo, Beg For Me, Bambolo. Is that how you say it? Okay. Uh, is this another Zim Zambalim? thing i don't know we'll find out uh good bad ugly and in my dreams that is what we're gonna be checking out today um all of them are of course lyric videos uh i do have a couple uh, one line distribution lyric video so if something is wrong not my fault not my fault so not i didn't make it we're just watching and enjoying and listening to music other than that that's it oliver's here don't forget to check the master list. Link is in the description if you want to check out, see how many videos are left in the deep dive. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm ready to rock and roll. Let's go. All right. Volume, sure. <clears throat> I just love the sound of this song. So good. And it is Bach. Did find that out. The sample. Suki looks so good in this MV. So good. So good. Ugh, this MV is something else. They also fantastic. They look fantastic. Yuri's rap has developed so much. I love it. I love the, the double harmonies in here. There's so many of them. Sounds so good. That rap layering, it's so nice. Oh, Joy. Adorable. Danger.
Yes. This whole thing. Yes. It, there's so many harmonies in this. I love it. There's a lot of layering. Just a lot. Like, as you're going through and you're like, ooh, yes, no, there is somebody underneath. And then we'll have, like, one line or, like, one word at the end. But they're also harmonizing. Oh, so good. So good. I really do appreciate Bach, like, the uh, having the underlining tone with the violin. What is it? Aaron Cheese? I can't remember the title. I know it's Bach, though. Um... I did learn. I did look it up, and then I did ask the Discord too, in case they they knew. So, because um, I was like, I need to know what is it. But it's a it's a really nice, for clean song. I know it sounds weird, but in my brain, maybe it's because it has the classical piece in the the undertone of the beat with the violins it just is there's not i though how am my brain trying to explain this it's not a jam-packed song of different beats it has like a steady beat in the back and for me my brain just like thinks of it as just a very clean song if that makes any sense whatsoever, I'm not sure if you all feel this way as well. And then you have their vocal lines with a lot of their harmonizing and, and like layering that they have. It's just so nice. I don't know. My brain is like trying to figure out the best way possible to explain it. And I can't. Um, it's just nice. It's a clean, nice song for my brain. That's it. And then we've got this. What's this? Yes, Irene. Ah. Anytime, every time. I can't. Oh, I love this little cadence here. Hi. Sorry. Bye. Oh, is that a saxophone? Oh, that's an interesting add-on to this beat. Ooh, that little cadence on that rap. Mm. I love that little speed, too. Wendy. Wendy. That inflection on that nose who he does, I just love it. She sings in this little lower register.
This added saxophone is so interesting. It's such an interesting vibe in the song. It's like, wait a second. <laughs> I was like, are we adding in a saxophone in this? We are. OK, <laughs> let's go. Um, I love their tones in this song. So, all of them. Every single one. They sang all sang in just like this little bit of a lower R&B like. Type. Tone. Uh, it's so good. God, I especially for me, I love when Wendy goes into her lower register so 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 much. She it sounds so good. All, I mean, all of them do, but I just love when she does it. I don't know. It just gives she has like this little husky like tone to it. Her when she goes into her like lower tone. Oh, so good, so good. What an interesting vibe on this song. I'm trying to figure out what kind of if the whole album is going to have a certain vibe to it based off of Feel My Rhythm. We're kind of going into a different genre slightly. I would classify that as like a an R&B jazz vibe. I think just because of the saxophone added in there gave it a little jazzy vibe to me, like a a a smooth jazz, like yeah, hmm, interesting. I don't know. Dance for me, work for me, bad for me. Dance for me, work for me, bad for me. So we'll not stop, can't go. Okay. Ah, so we. I call the shot, I'm the hunter. Tagajo nan, wanna be on nan, wanna be on. Tip it in, Mr. Tan, tip it in, Mr. Tan. Quiz, I will move a physical to hell. But when you reach on nan, but when you reach on nan, that's in soon gun whiskey. Oh my gosh, I've been acted out in me, bad, bad, bad for me. This harmony. Oh. A little speed on that. This little bass beat too, and it adds to that line so much. Woo, Joy. I love the speed that they have, the speed cadence on their whole inflection on those notes. Woo. Okay, Wendy. Okay, Joy.
love this beat in the background. It's so good. Oh god. Did I did I literally get some Wendy wrap in here? Did I get a little Wendy wrap in here? Just a little? And a joy wrap too? I love a joy wraps. She wrapped I I feel like Joy wrapped a little bit more or had a few more rap lines in the earlier albums than she does now. Maybe because Yuri has developed her rap a lot more in the more recent albums. And so she kind of takes that secondary like role for rap where Joy might have been taking a little bit more on her plate at the beginning albums, but it's so good when she does. <laughs> you, like if you if hear me out here so basically all of them if you just if you told me that not knowing anything like pre red velvet rogue right that joy did some rapping just based off of what i see and maybe what i hear first off singing wise i'd be like no she does not lies, but she does. And when she does, it's so good. And same with Wendy, too. Wendy actually has a really good rap as well. And her little cadence that she does. I love it. I mean, we saw it in some of she did um some rap in some of the covers because she did Bang Bang and she actually did the rap piece for it. Just like chilling, just hanging out. I'm like, what? What? How is this possible? Oh, sorry, Els. Hi. Underneath, hi. Sorry, I didn't see you. No little turd. Yeah, hi. Thank you. Um, that's a nice little song. I love their speed. They like when they were harmonizing. They they their speed on their like cadence when they were singing, just like in a few places. Oh, it was so good. It was good. It just added that layer to that song. <laughs> I we'll love the little funk beat. Ooh, love that note, Sugi.
wasn't expecting the electric guitar to come in. Give it a little bit of a rock vibe. What's this layering? Being like, this is just like kind of has like a little bit of a funky bass beat. I was loving it. Like the bass just was like just cruising. Love how they were singing Pomaleo. Is that how you say it? Pomaleo? Yeah. That had like that higher, little higher register, breathy note at the end. I was like, yes. And then all of a sudden I was getting slapped in the ear with an electric guitar. Halfway through? what and then at the end it was only in one ear and then the bass beat was in the other i was like what is happening i have a live clip of this i'm excited okay it's a great little song but i was very much not expecting the electric guitar to come rocking in give it a little bit of a rock vibe halfway through what what a chill song though in a weird way like you just vibe. I was just vibing. And then I was like, oh, oh, oh. Now we just have a little bit of a little rock beat coming in with the electric guitar. All right. Sure. Why not? I love the violin in here. You're so beautiful. Oh, it sounds like a record. It has like that static. Oh, Irene. Okay, force gum. Okay, movie reference here. Uh, I was like, okay, <laughs> life is like a box of chocolates. So it's like, okay, Forrest Gump. Uh, because that's like one of the most famous lines in Forrest Gump. 
if you've never seen the movie shame um the great tom hanks movie but also originally who's that is a movie title actually no wait i think it's the good the bad and the ugly i think it's an old sean wayne no can't remember nope clint eastwood my Clint Eastwood movie. Can't remember. It's an old Western movie. It's my mind. Sorry. Move, film brain. Just going off for a second. After after hearing the line, Life is Baco Chocolates, my brain would totally film. This song is great, though. There's a lot of interesting things in this song. The one, they had a, a piano in the background that I kept on hearing that kind of like kept like this this cadence beat for the whole song, which was great. But then they had some interesting echoing. I noticed it the most on one of Sulgi's lines when she was singing. And then right after she was done, you could hear almost like an echo of it in underneath. That or I was just hearing things could be either. But it was very unique because I feel like the more you listen to the song, the more things you're, you would hear from it. And the vocals were great, as usual. Glad I got I got some like Irene vocals in there. Great time. Um, very interesting song. Can't wait to re-listen to it. I feel like I missed a whole bunch of stuff. This bass beat. Joy vocal. Damn. 
Yum. Okay. All right. Okay. That was it. You right? That was the last song. Yeah, it was. Killing voice. Not yet, guys. Not yet. It will come. I promise. Um. Okay. Hear me out. Why do I feel like so? They this whole album, fantastic. I really enjoyed all of these songs. Feel my rhythm starts off us off right with the kind of has the classical piece. You have Bach in the background as uh, like the sample. We move throughout the album, get some different kind of sounds going on. Then you end it, this album with In My Dreams, which sounds like I'm about to enter a villain era with like the bass beat and the crescendo. And I'm just over here like, what is happening? It feels like a, not a final, but it, I mean, it's a final song on the album, but having that kind of like, almost like end to it, or like beginning of something like new? I don't know. Oh, jeez. That was good. That was really good. I actually really like that song. There was like some interesting stuff going on in there too. Just like uh, Good, Bad and Ugly. Is it, I gotta look that up. Um, <clears throat> is it? Yeah, it's a Clint Eastwood movie. Okay. That's what I thought. My brain was like, I would not have that. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, that's what it reminded me of when I saw the title. And I was like, ooh, interesting. I would, and I was wondering if we're going to get like weird references in there. The only thing was the Forrest Gump line in a weird way. But in my dreams, damn. Okay. That's a great B-side. It's a, it, it feels epic. It feels like it's could be part of a movie or like a that type of um, like fairy tale Disney princess type situation going on here but that's the kind of epicness that I could see but for a villain I don't know that's the vibe I got maybe because it was the bass beat in there this is a great little album damn and then we have birthday next. Well, I have so we have special clips tomorrow, but like album wise, birthday is next. Jeez, I think I have a couple of those. I'm gonna have to see if I f can find in my dreams. I want to hear that live. I'll see if I can find it. I don't know if I will be able to. We'll figure it out. You'll see tomorrow if I find one or not. Right now, I have not that, but great album. I'm sad we're getting closer to the end of the albums but they've experimented uh, with a lot of different sounds in this album. I really like it. It, it. it flowed very well from my brain, but they did some interesting things. I was pretty happy with it. Um, it's the guitar piece just still baffles my mind. Having that electric guitar just like jump in halfway through a bamboo like what <laughs> all right i can't wait to see that i think i have a concert clip of that too so that'll be a, that'll be a great experience so that will be tomorrow guys don't forget take a look at the master list link is in the description if you want to see what's uh, left on the deep dive uh thank you for hanging out with me and checking out the album appreciate it hopefully you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and i'll catch you on that next one later